Hi everyone! One of the ways in which compound malady can be created is through registral displacement. In these bars, for example, the compound malady in the left hand part can be thought of as being derived from the following stepwise ascending pattern moving between the notes F and G. The harmony notes of this pattern are all found on beats 1 and 3 of the 16th note groups, a location which aids in the creation of the compound melody. Scarlatti, for example, has shifted up an octave the central two notes of each four 16th note group, thereby creating literal incomplete lower neighbor note prefixes to each of the pattern's harmony notes. The shift also creates the dual strands of the compound melody, with the lower strand moving between the harmony notes F and G, and the upper strand between F and E. Here also, this section of the right hand's melody can be thought of as being derived from a stepwise descent moving between the notes A and G. As well as interacting with the left hand part, both as a 3636 intervallic pattern and as the upper line of a chromatic tetrachord descent between G minor's root and fifth degrees, the right hand part includes two displacements, which not only retain the part in the same register, but also create a compound melody. The first displacement, leaping between the notes D and C, sound the root note and seventh of the underlying D dominant seventh harmony, which then moves to a minor dominant seventh on the bar's final eighth note beat, with the D note continuing to sound as the root note of both chords. Given Bach's use of the chromatic tetrachord on these beats, it may be assumed that this initial 16th note group, despite lacking literal inclusion of D, may be heard as part of the following D dominant 7th and minor dominant 7th chords. Similarly, we can assume that these beats sound as part of the following C major and C minor subdominant chords. In this way, the D of the initial compound melody may be heard as continuing as a 7-6 suspension over major subdominant harmony, delaying the arrival of the subdominant's root note, which also then continues as the root note of the minor subdominant chord. I hope you found this useful. Thanks for watching. See you next time.